tears.
Damn, Let's that get was going, big! Then. Sea monster. Here, in the southern seas. They're usually much further south. I suspect that they may have been driven here by someone. By the Ghost Captain Crow? Possibly. We do well to keep an eye on the water. That's probably not the last monster we'll see. Come on, let's go. Of course. Um... What? You should speak to your crew. I can imagine that a few of them have something important to say. What have I got myself into? Are you already doubting your decision? No, but... Well, that's to be seen. But remember, I'm not used to others giving me orders. So tread carefully. I'll bear that in mind. See that you do. Good hunting. But don't forget, I've got my eye on you. Hey, where did you come from? Well, Bolly Pirate! Well, Seafarer! Well. Right. Well then, welcome on board. I think there's something you might want to know. Go on. I talked to Cisco. And? He said he found crystals in a river delta. They were pretty smooth. Hmm. They must have traveled a long way down river. I'll drink to you. I've got my wits back. That should answer your question. I have a letter for you from Killian. Oh, show me the rag. Mm, doesn't contain much of interest, but if we run out of paper... All right, I really don't want to hear that. <laughs> You'll have to get used to the rough tone around here. Here, take the gold as a reward. Thanks again. Yes. I saw a ghost ship. Don't worry about booze. That's been taken care of. So, booze does not need Sadek's help anymore? Don't think so. Good. Sadek looking forward to feeling real deck under feet. Come with me. I want you on my crew. Good. Gucho has a ship? My ship lies at anchor in the bay. Welcome aboard. Gee. When Captain sets sail, Sadek will be there. It's time you spoke to your crew again. Look out! Spike! 
That's a start. That's a start. I'm going to make it a step. My ship lies at anchor in the bay. Excellent, dearest brother. Then I'll sail with you from now on. Captain. Difficult situation, but we made it once again. You did well there. Did you just praise me? Yeah, but don't get used to it, little brother. It won't happen again. The sea is humanity's natural enemy. Every floater knows that. Isn't it about time you inspected your crew? Have I ever told you how proud I am of you? <laughs> Are you? Yeah, you're a good guy who cares about others. Keep it up. People like you are rare in such dark days. Anything to say about the current situation? I don't think much of the savages in the jungle. They keep their women as slaves, the pricks. If I had a man like that, I'd teach him what's what. You can do me a favor. Can I? I want to fight against the shadows. Okay then. But I don't have the means. Very well. Well, I had this idea how we could get our hands on some gold. You're resourceful. You know people. Oh, I get it. You want to sell me to some rich bastard to finance your little war? Come on. You think I'd do that? I know your father. You're the same stock. But just this once, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Now, what's the plan? Well, pirates usually bury their stuff. There are a lot of evil bastards out there who know where the treasure is buried. We just need to persuade the right ones to tell us where. Oh, so I do have to chat up some random blokes then. Come on. Don't act as if you've never used your charms for profit. No fucking way. But I could drink them under the table. Now that I don't doubt. Okay, I'll do it. But you have to come with me. All right. Who do we focus on first? Colby, one of the pirates on Keela knows something. And he has a little thing for me. He used to crew with Captain Rawlings. I bet he knows something about the location of Rawlings Gold. Right. Then let's get going. But don't forget to take me along, or he won't talk.
We should split up again. Sure. Come on, let's go. No problem. Weren't you on Captain Rawling's ship? Uh, yeah, but I, I don't want to talk about it. Not even with me? Patty! But... Hey, we always got on well, didn't we? Oh yeah? You called me a buffoon. Oh, come on. What's a little dig between friends? Uh, friends, you say? Yes, of course. We're friends, aren't we? Mm, yes. Tell me. Old Rawlins buried his treasure, didn't he? Yeah. And he always did it the same way. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Tell me more. Well, you know, he would usually bury his loot near a river delta, waterfall, or something like that. Uh, did you really say that we were friends? Oh, oh dear. We were having such a nice chat that I lost track of time. I've got to go. Uh, yeah. All right. See you later, then. Good old Colby. That went well. Now I know where Rawlings buried his treasure on the Crab Coast. I knew it would work. Better than good, actually. Who's next? We shouldn't overdo it. Otherwise, every pirate will be against us. Perhaps. Maybe we should change islands. So, let's just target another island. I'll let you know if I think of someone else to fleece. Um... What? Why can only men become warriors? Women are braver. Well, maybe they'll change their mind if you go and rough up their chieftain. Very funny. Father didn't really have an eye for this wall. Well, could he? He was always drunk. Hmm, you're right there. I found the old knowledge, and know its meaning. Hmm, good. Tell me your wisdom. The old knowledge is not for enlightenment alone. It's an instrument of power, 
that determines the destiny of humanity. True words, Gocho. You have the words. You may enter the Forbidden Valley. I will open the gate. Go now, but beware. Many dangers lie in wait. Beyond this gate, many things are not as they seem. Do not lose sight of your path. Make sure we have provisions. Fight! Who well, knows what's ahead? <sighs> Should have run away on its eight legs. Look out! Lady Mavis! <laughs> Nobody messes with me. Lady Mabby. Heavens, you have no idea how glad I am to see someone like you here. Oh, thought I was going to perish miserably out here. What are you doing here? I thought this valley was off limits. I was on Booze's old boat, and I left just before we reached the coast. I wanted to get to the island before everyone else. And, well, you can see where my ambition got me. I've been a castaway on a... God forsaken island again. So this isn't the first time this has happened. I thought I was doomed to be a castaway forever. I've spent most of my life waiting for someone to rescue me from various bad spots. Why did you want to get to this island before anyone else? I heard the old pirate captain Garcia buried treasure somewhere here. I just couldn't resist. And? Did you find it? Of course not. Nor do I care about that crap anymore. I just want to get off this damned island. Can I help you? Surely. I want to get out of here. Death is everywhere. Get me out of this accursed place. I'll pay you for it. Right. Follow me. Yes, please. But look after me, all right? 
I don't want to end up as crab food. We're here. Heaven be praised. I thank you, my friend. Without you, I would have snuffed it for sure. Here's the reward I promised you. You'll be able to make good use of it. So, I'll try and make my way to Booze's pirate camp. Farewell, or see you later. Keep your pecker up. Stand those creatures. While I was rotting on the island, those cowards made themselves nice and comfortable. I should never have tried to rip you off. Thanks.
right. Well, yeah. Should have run away on its eight legs. We're almost there. I can practically smell the riches. We need to go further into the temple. Quickly. Watch out! Get stuck in! Should have run away on its eight legs. All right. legs. Since the crab. There it is. One. The temple, of course. I can see that. And? It must be full of treasures, gold, and jewels. Well, I'm looking around here, and I don't see any signs of riches. There's just thousands of years of shit lying around. Well, we'll just have to clear it all away. I'm sure we'll find boundless riches here somewhere. I know it. If you say so. And I'll find it. Even if it's the last thing I ever do. 
Go ahead. I'm leaving. What? Yeah, go ahead. And thanks for your help. Must be here somewhere. I know it. I know it.
It must be here somewhere. I know it. I know it. eight legs. Garcia is the strongest. Bastard. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> 
Well done. There's nothing left to be done here. Do you know what I like most about this place? No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Doesn't stink of sailors and rum. Disgusting spiders! Should have run away on its eight legs.
Capo, Ono Bambule, you desecrate sacred ground, Gucho. Leave this valley of the mighty Oracle Magoloth now. I just got here. You have no idea what you're getting into, Gucho. The sacred valley is in turmoil. The warriors of the Oracle have arisen for war. Even the ancestors cannot tame their rage. Why are soldiers on the warpath? The Kila have lived in peace with Magaloth for thousands of years. I have been here for many moons and have often spoken with her. Her warriors that you call soldiers are an expression of her wrath. But she no longer listens. Something serious must have happened. They are preparing for a great war against the Kila. They must be stopped before they lay their eggs, otherwise they will be invincible. Where do I find this oracle? Margoloth has made her nest on the far side of the great temple to the east. Do not underestimate the power of old Margoloth. She was the first creature born into this world. She is as dangerous as she is ancient and wise. Be careful. Once she gets her fangs into you, your life will be over, Gucho. Right. Look out! 